Well, I'm a vascular and general surgeon, so I'm not a primary care physician like some of these others. So the way I see my patients come in a little different. And so really what was most important for me was the modeling aspect, like Dr. Cheskin was talking about. Because so often I would have patients tell me, well, I'll stop smoking when you lose weight. <laughs> so I lost the weight, and a lot of them didn't stop smoking. <laughs> but you know, I've also now had the opportunity to, instead of just removing body parts, I can offer them health, and instead of their only opportunity for them to benefit financially from me is if I do something wrong. Is <laughs> So, you know, my practice is a little different than most surgeons. I don't really leave the house at 6 in the morning and get home at 11 at night unless I'm traveling and working with a team. Um, usually, like, I think of times Terry Miller asks, can you talk to this doctor? And I say, sure. And the guy says to me, is this a good time? And I say, well, as long as you don't mind um, jogging in the afternoon here. And uh, one time, Dr. Ray and I were out uh, on our kayaks and the stone crab claws. And he says, you know, we're working. And I said, well, somebody's got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, it's a different kind of practice because I'm able to practice in a way that I choose, which is really a wonderful thing. Um, financially, that's all part of it, too. If I didn't build a business the way that I have, I would still be taking people out to lunch that I didn't like and trying to get business from them like so many of the other physicians are. And I'd be enforcing issues and, uh, you know, people might not realize it, but there is a, a certain conflict that sometimes physicians really have between doing the right thing and being concerned about their finances. And so that's not an issue anymore. I can do what's right. I can give things away if I feel like it because I want to do something else. So it, it has changed dramatically. Now from the personal life standpoint, growing up in an Italian household, food equals love. <laughs> and I loved a lot. <laughs> but really what we know now is that health equals life. And, and that's made a huge difference in me. Um, you know, the only balance my body really had before would be if you put it on a scale of maybe the thigh of an elephant. And of course now it's completely different. I'm able to do so many more things. I'm able to go places that I couldn't go before. I'm able to take rides that I couldn't ride before. I don't have to hide the airline seatbelt under my belly or ask for an extension. So that's a lot different. And you know, it's given me the opportunity to do some of the things that I want to do more because a lot of physicians are so busy on the work treadmill that they don't even have time to dream. And this has given me the opportunity to do some of the things that I've wanted to do all along. Uh, mission work, travel. Um, you know, I think I, I was gone almost four out of the last six weeks and to be able to do that from your practice is a wonderful thing. And to be able to do that financially is a wonderful thing. And the reason why is because of this beautiful business. The way the Bio Network, the meal replacements, and the Habits of Health have all brought this together. You know, if you're in a sailboat, you really don't go anywhere unless you have the wind. And so I like to think of the meal replacements as the wind that drives us. The um, steering wheel would be the Habits of Health. It, it keeps us on track. And then the trim of the sails would be like the, the Bio Network, because uh, every once in a while you have to make fine adjustments, and you don't need to know everything. We don't know everything. Some of us want to know everything, but we don't, you know, we don't. And, and that's just how it is. So the Bio Network enables all of us to work with each other, to be able to work with corporate, and to be able to work with the Habits of Health system to put it all together. And that's really critical. And I think those of you out there who really want to do this, you, you have to try and replace the word can't with choose not to. And if you do that, every time you use the word can't, I think you'll find out the things that really you can't do and really you just choose not to do. So you can either do this or you can spend your life wondering if it really would have worked for you. And the purpose of freedom, which by the
by the way, as Martin Nelson says, is far underrated, is really to free someone else, to help someone else have freedom. And that's really what this business is all about. So I like to use the word rich in this business for the acronym rich, which is respect others, the I would be for integrity, the C would be client focused, and the H would be to have fun. So as the best selling book of all time says, let's not get tired of doing what's right, because we'll reap the reward as long as we don't stop doing it.